Greetings in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, this is your word. Your word is true. Guide us through it, O Lord, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Help us to learn from it and help us to share it accordingly in Jesus' name. Amen. I greet you all in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Uh, today's reading is taken from Numbers 23 verse 19 which reads, God is not a man that he should lie, or a son of man that he should change his mind. Has he said and will not do it? Or has he spoken and will not fulfill it? So I had to do a quick background on this verse to find out what was happening exactly. And what I found out is that the Israelites were in Moab, and the, Moab, the Moabites were not happy with the Israelites being there. And so um, the Moabite king called Balak had to send for a guy called Balaam, uh, who was a non-Israelite and who specialized in cursing people, predicting the future and communicating with the divine. So, like, basically, if Balaam worked um, at Hogwarts, he'd be teaching divination. He'll be like, <laughs> uh, you know, if you take people for Uktwasa, he'll be the one helping people. Uktwasa, he'll be the one, he'll be called Gogo. Um, he'd be teaching divination. So, King Balak sends um, for Balaam to, and he offers to pay him a lot of money you know a lot to 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 curse israelites out of um, israel and so balaam goes and consults with god and god says look dude the israelites are blessed and these are the words of balaam to balak to say god is not a man that he should lie or a son of man that he should change his mind so like, that's like a quick background on on this verse um so what we learn from this verse is that god is not a man that's the first thing he does not live in dust when you read psalm 103 verse verses 13 to 14 it reads as a father has compassion on his children so the lord has compassion on those who fear him for he knows how we are formed he remembers that we are dust God is not dust. He's, he's God. He's his spirit. He's powerful. He's the creator of the heavens and the earth. So God doesn't change his mind again and again like man. God has no terms and conditions like man. God never lies. Not he does not lie, lie or not that he cannot lie. God never lies. It is his nature to be truthful. God does not change his mind. Whatever God has blessed is blessed and no amount of wealth can alter that. No amount of power can change that. No amount of knowledge can fathom that. Now, Israel was blessed. Not even Balaam, having gift, uh, gifted the gift he had, could change that. God is neither a man nor a son of man that he should lie or change his mind. When you read uh, James 1 verse 17, the Bible reads, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above coming down from the father of lights with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change god is god and he does not lie he does not change his mind whatever god has blessed is blessed and no man can alter that no man can change that whatever god has blessed is blessed and i believe that is a lesson that we should learn today that whatever god has blessed is blessed and no amount of money no amount of payment can actually change that or can ever change that whatever or whomever god has blessed is blessed and that is important for all of us to know and understand the second thing that we can learn from this as well is the fact that god's words stand 
whatever God has said, he has said. He can never wake up the following day. Well, he does not even wake up. The Bible says he neither sleeps nor slumbers. God is always awake. God is always looking after us. But if we were to say for argument's sake, uh, God sleeps, even if God was to wake up the following morning, his word stands. His words stand. Um, so what we learn from this is if we were to choose whom to trust between what man says and what God says, we should rather trust God than man. Unfortunately, brethren, we tend to put more, our trust more on unto man, pin our hopes more unto man than to God. And that's why in most cases, we don't only get disappointed when man has decided to change their minds, but we get depressed because we put so much trust in man than in God. So this morning we are learning um, that God stands in his word. He is not a man that he should lie. His promises are yes and amen. God is God and God stands by his word. God respects his word nothing else and so this morning as we go forward let's remember and let's remain on god's promises and declare that his promises upon our lives are yes and amen may god bless the reading of his word this morning may god bless your coming in and your going out in the mighty name of our lord jesus amen and amen i hope you will have a blessed day and I hope whomever you are going to meet today, you will remind them that God is not a man that he should lie. Amen.